Let's go straight to questions, Kevin. Kentucky's a good defensive team, us, uh, but they put a lot of pressure with their offense as well. They push at every opportunity. If it's not there, they, they work the ball. How, how much of an impact did that have in this game with anything else? I mean, Kentucky's a really good basketball team, obviously, and, and uh, you know, I thought, you know, Maxi when that when we got up, Maxi had two kind of leak out transition. Um, you know, we had a gamble uh, where we tried to get a piece of the ball right in front of their bench, and he got a layup, and then he got an old school and one. Um, you know, but you, you, you know, you play Kentucky, and you lose by twenty on the glass, basically, and uh, you, you miss front ends of one and one. And, you know, I, th I, thought, I thought our free throw shooting really hurt us. Um, and then lack of rebounding as well. From an effort standpoint, I thought we played really hard, but that's a, that's a long team and, and a really good team as well. Uh, Eric, you guys took the lead after uh, a cow got ejected. Did you feel like you guys had momentum at that point? The crowd was really going crazy. Then Kentucky, I think, you know, went on like a 15-0 run. What, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I thought back? the whole momentum changed after that um, in Kentucky's favor in every way, shape, and form. Um, so, yes, we had the momentum during the dead ball. And uh, after that, it, it, it completely changed. Do you think they got fired up because their coach got booted? or? I mean, that would be something that, you know, I, I'm not inside their locker room or inside their huddles. Um, so I, I, I just know the momentum completely changed. Okay. Going back to their ball movement, once they hit some threes early, they were able to, you know, have you guys chase, ball fake, get, get in the mid range. How tough was it to scratch back in that game when they were so good inside and out? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I. I I thought they only made five threes to our eight. Um, you know, usually uh, we struggled to try to stay with the opponent on field goals attempted. Uh, we took three more shots than they did. We made three more threes than they did. Um, <coughs> you know, so to me, it was real. I thought their defense um, during the scoring drought, they went zone, they kept the lane compact. We ended up having two players foul out that are perimeter threats in Desi and Mason. And we need perimeter shooting out there. Um, it's another game where I thought our best rebounding unit was our five guards. We actually made a little run with those guys, but then the foul trouble, you know, we had to get out of the, out of the five guard play. Um, Eric, um, just their, their length and defense overall. I think that was a season low shooting for you guys. And Jimmy, they had big guys on Jimmy. Like he especially just couldn't find any space. You know, how do you think that affected everybody and Jimmy especially? Yeah, I thought it really affected Jimmy in the first half. Um, I thought I thought we forced some shots, and, and uh, I thought in the second half we settled in a lot better. Um, up until again that scoring drought. But look, this, this, I mean, this one hurts. I mean, we had, we had an incredible environment and building. Um, you know, we don't want to let our fans down. And uh, it's hard to create that atmosphere and get that, that atmosphere back. And, and uh, the locker room's hurting. And, and uh, you know, I thought we, I thought we played hard. Um, didn't make enough threes. I mean, we got to make, you know, two to four more threes to beat a team like uh, like Kentucky, but uh, you know, I thought defense. I mean, we did a good job on Quigley, and um, you know, surprisingly, their post ups didn't really hurt us with our with our lack of size. Uh, the rebounding did for sure, but but it wasn't like they were just throwing it in the post, and that was hurting us. When you look at you know Montgomery, you know, not really having a field goal with his size at that power forward, that was a concern going into the game. And thought we did a great job on on Sestina. And, um, even even Nick Richards, I thought we did a decent job, not a great job, but but at least decent. Um, I just thought Maxie's two two baskets in transition were you know were a lot to overcome, and then Quigley, although he went three for fourteen, his three ball opposite Kentucky's bench during that scoring run. Yeah.
you talked about the free throws. Both teams are good. Neither one was great today. But do you think there was any added pressure in this game that affected you guys at the line, the guys that are normally more reliable? I, you know, I mean, again, I haven't talked to the team individually about, you know, any of the free throws or anything like that. I mean, I addressed the team on how we have to get ready for our next road game. And, and uh, we knew this was a three-game stretch that was really difficult with with Kentucky here and, and, uh, and then having to go to Mississippi State and then come back and, and play TCU at home. So, um, you know, I, I, I can't really answer, Kevin, why we missed foul shots, but we left points on the board and, and uh, we missed some front ends of one-on-ones and, and uh, that can't happen. Eric, I didn't look this up, but I don't think you guys lost back-to-back much much in Nevada in your last three years there. Um, you're losing at home, and now you got a tough road game. Kind of, how do you see guys re- responding? Yeah, I mean, I think that you know, to answer, you know, like right now, you know, we're all hurting. Um, you know, I mean, we just we just need a day to to regroup and, and uh, you know start our prep on Monday and, and uh, you know get on the plane. And go compete and try to get better in areas that we that we failed in tonight, and try to learn, you know, from a loss. We gotta have we gotta you know gotta have guys really practice hard <clears throat> on Monday, and uh, like I said, get ready for for the game on Wednesday. Uh, Final question, Bob. I don't know if you know Kenny Payne very well. What do you think about the job he did? He takes over the team. The crowd's gone crazy. You guys are up. What do you think of the job that Kenny did? Yeah, I mean I. I mean, you can, I think Kenny did a great job. Obviously, they went on a scoring run, and, you know, a lot of things went their way. Uh, who, who had to do with that, I'm not going to say, because I, I don't know. Um, but, but everything went their way for, for a good stretch uh, after Coach Cal um, was not on the floor. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.